All right, so we got Platinum Sensitivity in once again. The Sletners, the Scimitar, the Three Gealers, the Three Spitballs, the Manticore. We've seen that before. Um, it lost last time. Could it win this time? Quite possibly. Who knows? We will very shortly. Sutonia, what have uh, Forsaken Empire brought this time out? Uh, so Forsaken Empire have changed things up. They brought the uh, Double Ears, Triple Ishtar, Nurgle, Pontifex, Double Deacon, Hyena Comp that they brought against uh, Castabouts and won with. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what those Gila drones go for because uh, in the other two games that they've won, they uh, headshotted the like uh, hyena like straight away. So uh, that the hyenas and the deacons are definitely going to be have to be on the ball, I think. Yeah, the hyena is a really important ship in this drone comp. It helps all those sentries apply, assuming they are going to fly sentries, or of course the heavy drones if they if they choose those instead. Um, so yeah, headshotting the hyena, um, a pretty strong strategy here, and those gealers definitely capable of doing so. Three of them and the three spitballs as well. So it's going to be very very difficult for this hyena to to stay away from all of those uh, missiles and drones and spitballs rushing towards him to try and take him out. Um, yeah, let's see how it goes. Five seconds till the match starts. Links going up. Yeah, these are ham gealers, so I assume that they are probably going to try and brawl in. Although uh, I remember fighting against these drone, like drone cloud comps. One of like a really good strategy you can do when you're primary is you know like uh, run to the MGDU beacons and like blink around. Yeah, I can see we've got um, some Republic Fleet berserkers rushing in and being aggroed onto. I think they're going onto the scimitar at the back, maybe. On, yeah. No, I'm not sure where they're going actually. They're it looks like they're of... going for a sweeple here of Chell Dixon. Oh, uh, yeah, they are. Yeah, you're correct. He was in the middle of a drone swarm. I couldn't quite see him. Meanwhile, this Sletnir of Kentlar is taking some damage, but um, yeah, not. Seems to be a little bit of drone switching here. I think it's just Acolytes from, a, from a, um, Ishtar, maybe, on him or Pontifex, but he's not too bothered. The Ishtar of Mario and the Hyena is indeed the primary, though, of course, as we were talking about before the match. Hyena taking big chunks of damage. These Deacons are going to be working overtime to try and keep them alive. But there's just so much stuff swarming on top of them. Um, with these three Swipples and the three Gealers as well firing from range. But the Swipple does go down. That first Swipple taking down. So it e eases things up a little bit for this Hyena. And he's, he's repped up back to full armor by these Deacons. Although he is getting chunked in. He did get chunked into the structure there just a second ago. So, I mean, the Gealer drones do have the potential of getting it, of uh, going for his armor. But it looks like we're seeing a bit of a uh, target swap, maybe. Because the Hyena isn't taking damage anymore. Yeah, it's a bit of a scary time, but the Hyena does seem to sort of be at the front of the pack of his team and uh, sort of kiting, keeping everyone at range behind him, but not himself at too much threat, except for these Gila drones chasing after him at the moment. So the Deacon's also on top of him, just repping him up, keeping him pretty healthy. And the second Swipple of Massa 10 now taking chunks of damage as well. But this Eos of Anna Clavane, they've signed, they've got on top of him. I think these Slightners are on top of him, and they're, they're trying to melt him down. And these Deacon's obviously preoccupied keeping this Hyena so crucially important to the comp, trying to keep him alive. Um, the Eos is sort of taking a back burner at the moment. He's pretty tanky, but um, he is still taking chunks. The Hyena does go, go down. The Deacons can't hold him. Scimitar taking a lot of damage now, uh, now though. The Scimitar actually has been webbed. It has been tackled by that Nurgle. Yeah, so, I mean, we saw this in the literally triggered matches last week and in the feeders. These They used, I think, they're the only team to use the Nurgle and just park it on top of a Lodgy and make team respond. That Scimitar does actually go down in absolute record time, to be honest. Absolutely melted. Yeah, Platinum Sensitivity do actually have uh, these two Eoses tackled down next to each other. So they do have the Eoses tackled here. Uh, but it looks like uh, the, the Eos of Anna Clavin is actually not taking that much damage. Yeah, the de these Deacons are still sort of dealing with these uh, Gila drones, I think. Um, they're just sort of trying to wreck each other and keep them alive from these Gila's. But uh, now they have switched onto the Slep near Kent Larquist taking chunks. He's going to be cycling his ASP. He's going to be trying to stay alive, but... Um, this drone swarm, obviously with those three Ishtars and two Eosos all still alive, there's going to be a huge amount of drones just absolutely nibbling away at him. Or I should say yeah. nibbling, chomping. Yeah, uh, it, it looks like he's <laughs> probably going to go down. Big nibbles. Like, no. Yeah, it's taking pretty big bites out of him. He goes down. This Deacon of Riven Thoris is in low armor now, and he goes down as well. So this Deacon, other Deacon couldn't keep him up. But Anna yeah. Clavain is still low armor as well. So, so this this other deacon is now going to die uh, because of the sequel that's going after him and the gila drones on him, and he has no deacon to wreck him. So yeah. we are going to see the deacons go down, but at the same time, Mark Bridges Slepner is about to go down, and I think he's definitely going to drop before Anna, even without with no logic on Anna. Yeah, this has turned into an absolute brawl. They tried to string them out a little bit with the hyena at the front. Mark Bridges goes down as well. 
Um, yes, it, 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 they tried stringing them out, they tried kiting a little bit, but once the hyena goes down, everything just gets on top of each other and it's just an absolute blast fest of, of damage on top of damage. Um, so what's left? Eos and three Ishtars against the three Gilas. Um, the Manticore notably still alive as well, so he's going to keep pumping out damage on everything that's tackled. The, 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 uh, the Manticore has been tackled by the Nurgle though, so I imagine yeah. the Nurgle is going to be finishing him up, cleaning, cleaning him up here pretty quickly. And uh, the Gila of Nosoko is uh, tackled here in the middle, so he's probably going to go down soon. But Windjackal is actually still taking a lot of damage. Like three Gila, three Ham Gila's asleep on a Manticore is still actually quite a lot of damage. Yeah, although this Manticore's not long for this world. I mean, you said the the Nurgle went from that's a good a good pick up and a good call by the Nurgle. He's saying, "Don't worry about the Manticore. I'll go and deal with him." And that Gila does go down as well. So now it's just two Gila's in the Sipple. So I I feel like it's uh, not going to be much left in this match for Platinum Sensitivity. Yeah, I think they I think they will probably be able to take down Windjack or the team captain here, but I don't think there's any way they're gonna be able to clean out these three Ishtars. Yep. So that is looking to be 2-0 in this final for Forsaken Empire. So we're sadly not gonna get the full three matches. Um but congratulations to them anyway for uh, putting on a good show. They didn't bring um the same comp again, they switched it up again, which is obviously hard to predict. Maybe um Goodness me, these two clan tags are so confusing for me. Maybe Platinum Sensitivity thought they were going to bring the SNIs again and tried to bring the drone comp to counter it, but they said no. When we're going to switch it up, we're going to bring EOS again. I think when Jack might actually live, <laughs> I don't know. He's in a calf structure. There's not enough damage left. Yeah, I mean, he's taking chunks, but I mean, this Gila is also taking pretty heavy damage. Those drones are on him, they're, they're catching up to him. I can see him running away from him. There's maybe 20 of those heavy drones just running after him. Yeah, Gila is not long for this world. He's uh... running. And the heavy drones are like doing that thing where they fly after him and then shoot once and then stop and get a bit confused and then take like a couple seconds to reboot and go after him again. So they're not applying the maximum possible damage. I think one of the drone ships has recalled them, presumably to send there, There's out a Ponty that has that. just got a scram on him, though, so uh, oh, yeah. he's definitely going to die. Now he's going to die. Now <laughs> he's going to die. But Windjack. <laughs> Is he going to kill Windjackal? That's the real question. He's so low. They're both so low. They're both so low. Windjackal oh. goes down. <laughs> he got him. He finally got him. That's a, that's a Pyrrhic victory, I think, for that Gila. Mission accomplished. And now it's just the Sipple. Yeah, the, the Sipple is, of course, a webbed and uh, already has one set of... Uh... Acolytes on him, the rest of the drones are over. Many more. <laughs> the drone swarm has arrived, and he's gone. Just like that. So yeah, congrats to Fault, um, Forsaken Empire, 2i. Good job. So yeah, with that we'll send it back to Bar and ourselves.